What's up, y'all? Rip line here. Going out of uh, Venice, Louisiana right now to the East Lump. We're gonna try to see if we can get on the hot tuna bike, maybe get some Wahoo. Y'all stay tuned. Woke up and just felt right. Phone blown like a tailpipe. Today's schedule airtight. I turn a short day into a long night. See you soon if you got the heart. Meet you outside Rennie Park. Hurry up if it's getting dark. Won't say much and that says a lot. Hop into that old bands. Drop through that road ends. Good time with some old friends. I got just a thing if you're so tense. Mom wanna go do something. She got me stoned as Medusa. Zoned out with a blank stare. I'm looking into the future. Hold up, ain't nothing gone. Hold us, put the devil. To the side, got an angel on my shoulder And I'm like, hello, it's good to finally let go I ain't worried about it, I just like to keep it mellow Yeah, I like to keep it mellow I smoke and keep it mellow I drink and keep it mellow Every day I keep it mellow Every day I keep it mellow I smoke and keep it mellow I drink and keep it mellow So we made it to the East Lump There's about 80 boats out here Behind again Look, you saw how I did that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's just so much. I the dude. Got some head shakes. You see color yet? Watch your, uh, watch your reach. Yes. You got a yellow fin, dude. You got a yellow Get the harness. Come on, you hooked him. You got to fight him. In a shark, huh? Lucky bait touch. Yeah, tell her to catch a yellow fin <laughs> next time. Maybe that's yeah, what happened. Does it feel heavy? <laughs> 
Feels like a little fucking Benito. <laughs> shallow it stays at like 10 foot damn and I have mono on there do whatever it is it ain't I'm fucking putting that thing on the plate super neat it has got it yeah it feels like it head shakes Dude, he's peeling on. Never know, peel a little peanut. I'd take a peanut. It's definitely not a Wahoo stand up. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's made too many runs. He must have been fucking charging the surface when I when I initially hooked him because yeah, he feels right. a lot fucking heavier now. Should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> you ain't lying, nobody's fucking trolling. Nobody. Hey, that was a key for today, dude. <laughs> if the poppers have been hitting me. I dude, knew, so I was like, yeah, you don't want really these shallow eggs going on. show today. Got one on the troll. See what it is. Dude, that's a fucking tuna, bro. No, hush, hush, hush. Let's get this thing in first. What is that bitch? 100%. Tuna? 100% yellowfin, baby. Let's go, baby. I can't see it sickle. Can you see it? 100%, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Watch out, watch out. Get out of the way. Yellow fish. 100%, baby. Let's go. Gotta get him in the boat. I smoke and keep me yellow. I drink and keep me yellow. Every day I keep me yellow. Every day I keep me yellow. I smoke and keep me yellow. Headed back to the marina after a good day. We'll say a good day, but pizza day at work. Pizza day at work. That's, can't complain about that.
and finished marina, everybody. It's been a while since I cleaned one of these. What's going on y'all? We're back in the kitchen. It was really a really tough day of fishing out there. We managed to get one yellowfin tuna out of the day and we're about to show you how to cook it. First thing you want to do when you get these yellowfin is you want to keep them really dry. If they get wet, the meat will get real mushy and it makes it real difficult. So first thing you want to do is after it's been sitting in the Ziploc bag for a little while, you want to pat it with a paper towel. Get all that moisture out of it. And after you do that, you can cut off the remaining bloodline. Like that. We still got, we left the skin on these pieces, so we gotta cut the skin off. And there you go. And then once you got it like this, you can make yourself some nice tuna steaks, just like that. Usually if this was a bigger fish, these steaks would be a lot bigger. But since this fish was only about 30 pounds or so, you get these little bite-sized tuna steaks. And once you have them in the steaks, you can take, you take them, put them in a bag with some teriyaki sauce and let them marinate for about 30 minutes. Alright guys, the tuna just came out of the refrigerator. It's been marinating in teriyaki sauce for 30 minutes. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan over medium heat or medium high. Not too much, just a little bit to coat the bottom. Let that start heating up. In the meantime, I'm going to take some sesame seeds and just sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds over the top. Make sure you get both sides. So once we finish this side, we'll flip it over. Same thing on this side. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. Just marinate teriyaki sauce, put a little bit of sesame seeds on top, and a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Once that, we let that oil get hot for a minute and we'll uh, go ahead and put them on there. All right, so the oil just heated up. We're just gonna take our tuna, put it on there. Do about a minute on each side. You just wanna sear the outside. You don't wanna, you don't wanna cook it all the way through. Okay. 
give it another 30 seconds or so, and it'll be done. And just like that, guys, it's done. Y'all stay tuned. Looks like the weather's going to be bad for the next few weeks, so we're probably not going to be able to get out there. But uh, this summer we have a lot of good stuff coming for y'all. And uh, look forward to seeing a turkey hunt here in about a week or so when turkey season opens up down in South Louisiana. Uh, until then, we'll see you guys next time on Ripline.